Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. Is Cardano dead or it has still potential to reach all-time highs in this cycle? In this video, I'm going to take a look at all the relevant data, charts, metrics and indicators to show you that Cardano might be undervalued and in an epic buy zone. So let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Okay, first of all, let's check the most important chart in this period, the Bitcoin dominance. Why? I mentioned multiple times on this channel that as long as the Bitcoin dominance will push to the upside, the altcoin market and the altcoin pairs will get absolutely destroyed and annihilated against Bitcoin. Why? Simply because we are still in a transitional phase of the market. There are multiple phases of the market. The bear market, in which cash is king, the transitional phase of the market in which Bitcoin is king as it carries the whole market from the bear market to the bull market, we have the bull market, of course, and we have the altcoin season in which the Bitcoin dominance breaks to the downside and usually altcoins are heavily outperforming Bitcoin. We are nowhere near close an altcoin season. In fact, we are still in a transitional phase of the market, crypto spring which is characterized by Bitcoin dominance raising higher and higher. Obviously, the trend is your friend until the end, but every trend comes to an end sooner or later. And this is why I'm slowly starting to take a look at the chart of all these projects, all these altcoins against Bitcoin. And ADA could be heading towards an epic accumulation zone against the Bitcoin pair, as you can see here on the chart. Obviously, after a huge move to the upside and a huge move again to the downside, a huge correction against BTC. Okay, let's take a look at all the relevant data, metrics and indicators for Cardano. First of all, I will take a look at the developer growth. And as you may see here from this chart, on average, ecosystems lost 27% of their single chain developers last year in 2023. This is a comparison between Q4 of 2023 versus Q4 of 2022. So as you may see, Cardano lost developers minus 22% which is in line with the rest of the market. However, if we take a look at um, developer activity, we may see that in terms of developer activity, uh, most specifically um, in um, notable GitHub comments in the past 30 days for the month of January 2024, Cardano was in first place. And for the month of February 2024, Cardano was in second place. So there is still a developer activity on Cardano, which you can also see on this chart on Token Terminal. And we can take a look at the number of core developers and comets. Okay, let's compare uh, these core developers in the last 30 days, 119 and code comets 1000 against Solana, one of the projects that did perform the best in the last six to nine months. So core developers, 63 core developers, therefore less than Cardano and code comets 477 less than Cardano. Okay, let's now see uh, on cardanoassets.com the list of tokens on Cardano. And there are a ton of uh, tokens and projects here. As you may see here, 35 thousand entries on this list. I have sorted them by a number of owners uh, and the most notable has around 40k uh, owners. All good, all great. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the tokenomics of Cardano and let's take a look at the number of holders uh, of Cardano. 3.5 million holders. And this is why I still believe that Cardano is a good project. This is one of the reasons there are a ton of retail investors that are still invested into this project. And there are not so many whales compared to other projects. So top 10 holders, only 8.97% of the uh, supply is invested in the top 10 wallets. 
if we compare this with many other projects into the altcoin space, this number will be much, much higher. Okay, let's take a look at the number of retail investors over time. And as you may see here, the number of retail investors, the number of addresses of uh, holders that hold um, Cardano for more than a year, long-term holders is constantly increasing, which is obviously great for um, the whole community. Let's take a look at the total value locked for Cardano. It has been uh, growing recently and obviously uh, this is a great sign of recovery for the whole ecosystem even though we have seen a drop recently uh, due to the recent market conditions and obviously um, risk assets are now in danger due to the potential geopolitical uh, trouble if I have to call it like that between Iran and Israel. Okay, um, let's also take a look at the news for Cardano, their potential catalysts. So Cardano conquers Asia Pacific with a Murgo and Huawei cloud partnership. All great, fantastic news and Cardano's path to progress, Ch Chang hard fork and Ouroboros Laos upgrade set for major network enhancements. Therefore, their potential catalysts for Cardano and this is why I once again did invest a couple of percentage points of my portfolio in ADA. From a technical standpoint, um, this is in my opinion a 1-2 setup followed by wave 3 to the upside followed by a correction in a wave 4 that did unfold as an A, B, C correction and I can track here 5 waves in a wave 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 completion of the macro wave one to the upside and I'm tracking a macro wave three a uh, macro wave two I'm sorry to the downside that is potentially unfolding as an a b c and the correction may already be over for Cardano it meets all the minimum requirements for a wave two obviously wave two are wave twos are characterized by a ton of fat and uh, we have seen this in the last uh, few uh, days. Obviously, there is also um, a huge large amount of holders that is unhappy with Cardano because they did not manage to deliver in time their updates. However, I believe that they are still working and patience is key in financial markets, in the cryptoverse. And I believe that they are still working towards uh, their projects and that they will deliver and that this project is far from being dead. A concern here potentially is that this is all a big wave A that did unfold in three waves and we could have an A, B, C to the upside in a big wave B and an A, B, C to the downside to complete this whole structure which could be possible. However, I'm now uh, focusing primarily on uh, this potential epic buy zone for Cardano. Um, this looks a textbook wave too, in my opinion. Therefore, usually, uh, according to Elliott wave, wave theory, wave twos are the best entry points from a risk to reward standpoint. In fact, uh, let me just show you quickly the psychology of the market in a wave one. All the naysayers will say, hey, it's a fake pump. It happened already 10 times in the bear market and it broke down to the downside every time. Then we have a wave two and the naysayers will say once again here, hey, I was right. It happened again. It's just a fake pump. The project is dead. Then we will have a wave three and the uh, all the naysayers will start jumping on board they will start being scared that they have missed the boat and after that we have a wave four that shakes out many of them that did try to catch this with leverage because they did think that they missed the boat so they need to make up for their mistake using a ton of leverage the wave four usually shakes them out and we have one more top in a wave five and just when the bulls start to reappear, we have a brutal correction in a macro wave two that shakes out completely. Once again, all these retail investors 
that started to chase in this area here. Obviously, from a risk to reward standpoint, this is a good entry point because after a wave two, we have usually a wave three and the wave three uh, is the most explosive wave in this whole structure. Uh, therefore, um, if you believe long term in the project, you can, for example, DCA in this area, obviously no financial advice. This is what I'm doing. Obviously, with a small percent of my portfolio, I will repeat for all the new viewers, 50% of my portfolio is in Bitcoin, just because I'm well aware of the dynamics of the Bitcoin dominance. And I have seen this dynamics play out in the past previous cycles. So in this cycle, I decided to allocate 50% of my crypto portfolio to Bitcoin and the remaining in altcoins. Out of them, ADA is one of the altcoins that I do hold. In my opinion, nothing really major happened for ADA in this cycle. In fact, um, the Google Trends and Google searches are still down. We have seen a little push to the upside. However, we did not manage to break from this zone here significantly like we did, for example, in 2021 when we pushed uh, aggressively to the upside. And this is what I would expect to see in an eventual altcoin season. Okay, guys. Um, I will show some other uh, metrics. Um, I did record another video, the layer one words, in, the, in which I did compare um, top blockchains, in my opinion, based on a ton of different data charts, metrics, and indicators. So um, you may see here that um, Cardano is not, in my opinion, the best out of the bunch. However, uh, what uh, is Cardano doing is something that is, in my opinion, uh, still good. They have a ton of holders and the community is very strong and they're constantly working towards their project. And this is why I did decide to allocate a couple of percentage points to my portfolio. So you may see here that the transaction cost is not the lowest. However, compared to Ethereum, uh, still <laughs> much, much better. Uh, size, of the, um, size of the networks in terms of nodes is quite high, which is obviously uh, great. Average energy consumption is uh, higher than all these uh, projects here. Uh, we can take a look at the staking ratio, quite high for ADA, uh, comparable to uh, Solana or Internet Computer. Uh, the inflation rate is not that high for um, Cardano. In fact, much lower than uh, all the other project, uh, projects on this list. The developer activity, as I did show, minus 22%. However, um, this is in line with most projects. Um, let's take a look at Nier, minus 32, or Solana, minus 55. Some did have a jump in developer activity as well. Uh, like internet computer. I'm a big fan of ICP. And we can take a look here at uh, uh, other indicators. Of course, uh, Cardano is not uh, the fastest or the cheapest blockchain. However, um, in terms of um, developer activity, all good. In terms of community, all good. In terms of uh, holders, all good. All good. In terms of uh, pushing um, news, and new developments, it could be better. However, I still believe the team is working and I believe that Cardano is here uh, to stay in future cycles as well. And of course, always remember that in this space, uh, patience is key. Okay, guys, I hope you did like uh, this update. Um, if you like the content, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.